I ejected the first Gulf War as a tornado navigator. Um, and, you know, so our aircraft, myself, John Peter's aircraft, been hit by a missile. Uh, we were on fire. There was a very real danger that the aircraft would explode. And so whilst we didn't eject within an instant, with the aircraft burning around us, there was a dawning realisation that this jet could explode within a nanosecond. And we said, right, let, we've got to get out, eject, eject, eject. And the first thing that happens is nothing. And nothing happens for about a hundredth of a second. And that one hundredth of a second feels like a lifetime while you're waiting for it to happen. And then technology takes over. The first thing that happens is that the perspective, the cockpit, the, the, the cockpit uh, of the aircraft is blasted off on rockets. So it basically goes off either side of you with rockets going past your ears. And then the ejection seat fires. Uh, and so the first stage, st this st starts to rise you up on the rails, which are that help hold the ejection seat in place. Your arms are dragged in on a straining straps. Your, for, your hot shoulder harness pulls you into the back of the seat. Your legs are dragged into restraining straps. And then as you rise up a bit further, uh, the rockets in the pack eject, uh, uh, ignite automatically, and you accelerate from zero to kind of something like 150, 200 miles an hour upwards under 18 times the force of gravity in about half a second. And, you're and if you're flying along at, let's say, 600 miles an hour or 500 miles an hour, you're hit by a 600 mile an hour wind. And so, and then because our ejection seats, the Mark 10, are completely automatic, it, everything happens automatically. So you're not really aware of what's happening, but there's a fizzing and a buzzing and a tumbling. The seat stabilizes. And as soon as the seat stabilizes, and because of the low altitude that we're at, we were at, it then goes into its next phase, which is to release you from the seat. And it cuts you free, basically. Uh, it chops your sh uh, shoulder harnesses off, it unfastens the buckles, it, it, un re it releases your leg restraints and your arm restraints, the seat falls away. And as the seat falls away, your own personal parachute is withdrawn uh, and the, you, you're then floating down. And that takes, for me, two and a half seconds. To tell that story, took what a minute and a half it happens in two and a half seconds 